Hi everybody, it's Miss Amanda from the Monrovia Public Library and today we're outside because we're exploring and we're going to talk about some great books today. One about hiking on a nature trail and the other ones about exploring your neighborhood. I can't wait to share them with you. The best way to explore is when you have a friend with you and today I have my dog Oliver to explore with me. When you go exploring, what kind of animals and plants do you see? We're ready to see what we can find. We found a squirrel. Who do you think lives down there? Is that a lizard under there? Let's check out our first story. The first book that we're going to read is a really fun one about three girls who take a hike through the woods. And this book is called The Hike and it's by Allison Farrell. Yoo-hoo! Almost ready? Just one more cut. Just a few more feathers. We are going on a hike. We have Wren and Elle and Hattie and Little Bean the dog. It is our favorite thing to do. And they're getting ready to go up the mountain. Hey, wait for me! In the beginning, we run like maniacs. until a ripe patch of thimbleberries slows us down. Yum! Elle teaches us how to make leaf baskets. Just like this, Elle? Yeah! You can see they're making little baskets out of the leaves with the stem as the handle. We may have eaten too many berries. Is that possible? I thought we were gonna save some for later. The hike gets steep and the trail narrows. Boo! Ah, Caddy, how did you get up there so fast? We get lost. Hmm, which way is north? I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to cross a river yet. Did we go left after the berry patch? No, right I think. Hey Wren, what's another word for blue? Azure, cerulean, cobalt? Hattie always finds the route. We're halfway there! In no time, we get back on track. Hey, who made these? Do you see? There's some tracks. A deer walks past. Bean sneezes. Achoo! The deer vanishes so quick, we wonder if it was ever really there. Oh no, look at Bean. A light rain comes and goes. The birds are happy. We listen to them chirp and chatter in the trees. This is the river we were looking for, right Hattie? Yeah. Patty gets tired. Elle offers to carry her. We can't hear you. I said 30 minutes to the top. Soon, Elle is tired too. Uh-oh, that looks kind of scary. Giddy up. 
I can't do this much longer. Rides over everyone. Brr, it's getting chilly. Oh, they're almost to the top, the summit. At the top, Wren takes out her flag, Elle reads her poem, and Hattie releases her feathers into the wind. Ooh. Uh-oh, it looks like they had a little stowaway in their backpack. We did it. Oop, now Bean's tired too. Ooh, it looks like it's starting to get dark. The sun is setting. Time to head back down the mountain. Oh, they're almost home. And it looks like they made it just in time. It's getting nighttime now. And you can see all the stars and the constellations in the sky. But they made it back. And then here are some more notes from Ren's sketchbook. And it says some things I saw today. Did you notice some of these things as we were reading the book? Ren writes about all kinds of things like plants, like English ivy, and even about the deer that they saw. And she also wrote about the thimbleberries that they picked. Did you know that thimbleberries are too delicate for packing and shipping? So you're not really likely to see those in the store. Those are kind of something you can only see on the trail. The best part about this is that this is a video. So you can go back and watch the story again to see what you spot. Cause there's all kinds of fun things to learn about in this book. And that is the end. Let's see what else we can find. Is that a hummingbird? These butterflies sure are busy. We found a bird enjoying the flowers too. Sometimes we don't always explore on a nature trail like I am today. Sometimes we explore by walking through our neighborhood. And one of my favorite things to explore when I walk through my neighborhood is to see all my neighbor's gardens. They're so pretty. Our next book is all about walking through your neighborhood. Let's go see some of those gardens first. We found a pumpkin patch. These bees sure love those blossoms. We found some pretty flowers too. Let's read our next book. Our next book is all about walking around your own neighborhood. It's about a boy and his dog and how they explore their community on their nightly walk. This book is called Windows and it's by Julia Denos. You get to see the neighborhood as the sun starts to set. And then there's our boy and his dog. He kind of looks like my dog Oliver, except this dog's all white and Oliver's gray. At the end of the day, before the town goes to sleep, you can look out your window. and see more little windows lit up like eyes in the dusk. 
blinking awake as the lights turn on inside a neighborhood of paper lanterns. Oh, looks like he's getting ready to go on his walk. You can take a walk out your door into the almost night. And there they are. Oh, and who's peeking through the window? That must be Mom. You might pass a cat or an early raccoon taking a bath in squares of yellow light. I know if Oliver saw a cat like that, he would want to chase after him. One window might be tall with the curtains drawn or small with a party inside. Oh, you know what I see? I see our little dog friend spotted the cat and he wants to say hello just like Oliver would. Between two windows, there could be a phone used for good ideas. Oh, got a tin can phone. There might be a hug or a piano, and someone might be learning how to dance. What else do you see going on in these windows? Oh, I see somebody learning how to paint. Another window could be dark with a sleeping plant or two. Or maybe bright and rounded like the moon. Oh, and some more dog friends. I see a little dog park back there too. Some windows will have dinner or TV. Others are empty and leave you to fill them up with stories. This looks like a spooky fun house. Then you arrive home again and you look at your window from the outside. Someone you love is waving at you and you can't wait to go home. Oh, our dog friend can't wait either. Oh, and they're back at the window waving hello. And so you do. Ah, uh, it's nighttime now, ready to get ready for bed, read a good book, and our dog friend is already asleep. And look at that, everybody else is getting ready for bed too. And that is the end. I hope you had a great time exploring with me today. I know Oliver and I had a ton of fun. It's a wonderful way to get out in nature and explore your community. I hope that you have a chance to take the time to explore your own neighborhood.